Hey everyone, we're here in the nether, joined by Chef Boy RD. Hello. And Joel again. Hello. Let's uh let's go. Show us what you're doing. So so you're, this is the Nether Kingdom, and it's it's amazing. It's so amazing what you guys have been doing. Thank you. Uh take I'm us very around. Flattered. So I, I saw some of this, but Joel didn't see any of it, and, and we're both recording. So why don't you take us okay. uh through the whole nether kingdom? Yeah, I'll I'll give you the full razzle dazzle here. Sounds good. All right, so this is this is the first area we worked on. Um, this is the main portal area. Um, this was me and Willow Lily mainly. Willow Lily, he doesn't really doesn't really work on the Nether team much anymore. He's sort of gone to um, the new Underwater Kingdom team. Um, but the work he did here was really nice. Uh, we built the portal together. The main thing I liked about the portal is these red Nether Warp blocks. I really like them as a highlight. It really makes it pop. I think they're really nice. Yeah, that whole um, nether portal is really great. It, it, look, I can't believe, like, I know it's square or rectangular, but it, <laughs> you guys have really found a way to make it look circular. Yeah, it's all it's, about organics. It's really hard to find the to to hide the edges of a nether portal if whenever you do something like that. I think it really oh, yeah. pulls off here. Definitely. Um, if we come off to this little side path, we've got a nice little tower here, which really only serves the purpose of going down to the <clears throat> going down to the lower level. So there's not much on the interior here. So once we get down here, we probably just jump and take the fast way down. Okay. Cool. Yeah, you can get a nice little view of the tower if you step out a little further here. Make sure that I'm all bright all the way. Okay, good. Oh yeah, turn your brightness all the way up here in the nether. Yeah, you gotta see everything. Okay, especially on YouTube. Oh boy, it gets oh, real yeah. dark. Uh, this is amazing. I mean, this is a such a such a sort of weird and hodgepodgey but perfect build I, I i love this still well thank you um if we well you can fly i have to ender pearl <laughs> if you come out here um uh oh yeah come back, come come out the, this sort of retaining wall i really like this it took forever though <laughs> oh yeah that is really nice yeah yeah i don't know if you're what? No, I'm fine. Okay. Are you kidding me? I got full enchanted diamond armor. I'm fine. <laughs> okay. You can see that can end the tour real abruptly. <laughs> yeah. Cool. No, yeah, that's know. nice. Yeah, I don't know if you remember, but that portal was basically floating when we started. Uh, um, it's been a while. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember for sure, but it was yeah. on like a one block thick. Oh yeah. So you built this whole thing out? Yeah, whole this thing? entire thing was built up. Oh wow, that's cool. Um, so that's pretty much all there is down here. And these um these little spikes that you built those are all man made too right like the yeah sort of... yep that's... that was mainly Willow Lily who did that that's such a nice touch man it is I was thinking of adding more actually whoa I'm getting attacked by pigmen uh oh this might make an abrupt end to the tour uh oh <laughs> <laughs> there's uh -oh. like a dozen <laughs> oh, no. I don't know I where... should be fine um I I'm in creative I could probably kill them. Uh, here, uh, sword. Try not to die. <laughs> Trying my hardest. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, congratulations on the achievement. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I, I've, I worked hard for it. <laughs> All right. I think I, think I just accidentally <laughs> ender pearled onto a pigman, and they just decided to all attack. Oh me. no! Oh no! I, I'll just go kill all these guys here. <laughs> all right. There's, this is what eight, at least. Yeah. This may be real hazardous for working in the nether. You have to find... Uh, sometimes oh, yeah. it's so hard to get them to un-aggro to you. Yeah. I know. It's ridiculous because they just keep spawning before you can kill them all. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, the new chain aggro. Okay, this time, hopefully, I won't end a pearl into one. Um, all right, so I'm back up at the main portal okay. area now. Cool. Man, this path is really nice too. Oh, uh, hey, I saw some um not po not Podzel, the other one. What's the other one that's not Podzel? You know, the... um mycelium. Yeah, mycelium. Where did you guys get that? We don't have any in the world. Uh I think we found it um in Bone Bluffs in a chest that was inside of the skull, the giant skull. Wow. Uh wow, I didn't know that. I probably must have gone and found a uh a uh what do you call it? A mo mushroom mushroom island. island. Yeah, a mushroom biome. I saw a little break room. This is cool. <laughs> This is really just get away from the nether for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes uh, sanity can uh, it, it can wear on you with all the fire yeah. and the red and the lava almost, and everything. You almost need a blue ceiling. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Nice. All right. So moving Man, this down this tunnel, tunnel is awesome. 
Yeah. I love I it's funny, like there's still a lot of netherrack, but there's just enough dirt and gravel, I think, to to like just make it different enough, you know? Yeah. I really like to kick it up with the whole texture variation thing. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. And like and, and like little things that you might not notice uh first time through, but is the uh the nether quartz that's been clearly placed oh, around. Because yeah. mm -hmm. like yep. it's it doesn't spawn like that, and I think that's a super nice touch too. Mm. Yeah. I didn't notice that when I recorded the last time I was here, but then I was watching the video back during editing, during <laughs> editing. <laughs> and, and, I, and I noticed, uh, I was like, wait a second, that's not how that spawns. That must have been placed. It's a nice so time. I, I've got a, I got a question, Jeff, for you. When you're doing yeah. these kind of patterns and stuff, like, are you just like helter skelter running around, throwing down dirt, throwing down? Oh um, yeah. Stuff. There's no method to There's it. There's no, yeah. So I, I need to free it's up a just... little bit and do that more because sometimes I get a little bit too caught up in like, you know, placing stuff down in any particular way. And then I look at it and say, it doesn't look random enough and stuff clumps up. And it's like, why, why is my stuff not as like helter skelter as other people I see online? And that's probably why mm -hmm. it's because I'm just too wound up. Well, <laughs> the way I do it is I just, I throw in some music and just completely forget I'm playing Minecraft and I just... You know, my mind just goes blank. Mm, it's the best right. way to make things random. <laughs> yeah, I I think so too. I whenever I'm doing texture variations, usually when I'm like watching an, a YouTube video or something, and I'm not even focused at all. Right, you're not even looking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this area, um, this is actually Mars and Dee Dee's area wow. that they've been working on recently. Um, wow. Sort of slum housing. Yeah. Wow, this is so cool. Slum housing for the pigmen? Is that what? Uh... Yep, yep, for the pigmen. There are only two interiors done, <laughs> so. Okay. Not much on the interior front, but <laughs> I like Man, the I... I like the black nether brick with the lava columns going down. Oh yeah, it's very cool. It just and the way it's flowing down. Oh man, this is and like these uh magma blocks inside the iron gate. Yeah, it yeah, reminds me. So blown away by it this. reminds me of the Urukai pit under um, Morthank from Lord of the Rings. Oh yeah, yep. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I don't know what those words are. Uh, Lord of the Rings, where Saruman makes the or makes the. Orc oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah, like okay. the tree falls down from the top. They use the shot like three times in the whole series. I, I think I think I just heard Fornad's head hit his keyboard <laughs> <laughs> from Artcraft. <laughs> I was uh, being awesome. very careful that I use the right words. <laughs> uh, -huh, uh huh. Yeah, because we're friends with, with people who actually know that stuff now. <laughs> yeah. This gate's awesome. Wow. Yep, this gate was built entirely by Mar. Wow, that's great. Wow. Um, um, nice job. Yeah, These but everything everything beyond the gate has pretty much pretty much been done by me. I'm on a lot more than the other members of Orange Team, so it kind of shows. <laughs> Man. And and you're transforming this actual Nether Fortress into this, like into this custom one. Oh yeah. That's not even near done yet. <laughs> it's such a cool design. Cool. I can't wait to see it. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! This, is, this is, is genius building. That's very very cool. And Joel, this is an adventurers guild um, in here, so they can go into spectator in here. Uh, same thing as the other one, right? So they can they hit the button and then they can mm -hmm. yeah. Fair. Wow. Yeah, I seem to have lost you guys. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm, I'm just I'm floating, just around. floating I was around looking at looking at uh, roofs oh, okay. and and things, yeah. just kind of giving everybody a good look. I like this it's, crooked. Is it a is it a chimney or is it a spike that's gone through the house? It's a chimney. It is a chimney. Okay. Um. Hey, if you want to, if you want to place um the smoke, are you aware of it? Um, the animated smoke block. Uh huh. Thingy? Yes, I I know of that. Um, if if you want, you can just uh, have a mod do it because you'll just have to put it on barrier blocks is the only trick. Okay. So, um, like if you want, you could just put it like for example there. Yeah, I see that. That looks so, cool. Yeah. yeah, just um, just hit me, hit me up or a mod or something like that, and they can they can uh, drop it for you. Man, yeah, definitely. I'm loving these paths, man. The paths, and I love how no building is straight. That's so freaking good. Mm. Yeah, I kind of my take on the Nether is sort of you know chaotic and really organic and sort of you know not really conforming to man-made structure because you know they're not men. Yeah, it's like way more chaotic. I'll, yeah, I, I I love it. You know, we go to this little uh, children's amusement park, and they have they have the actual crooked house from the man who lived with the crooked house and had a crooked what you know that children's mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, yep. it reminds me so much of this. It's all I can think about is just that, and it's, it's it's so unique and cool and interesting and weird, and I just I love it. Well, thank you. 
Awesome. The sense of scale is great too. Yeah, this city is going to be huge. <laughs> and oh, and you were talking about um, maybe not you. Someone was telling me about uh, hanging maybe blaze things on the ceiling. Yep, that's going to be something that we're going to be doing. Oh, that's so cool. It's going to be chains hanging down. It's going to be whole palaces hanging from the ceiling. Really going oh, to try to use verticality to our advantage. And to nice. think, I was like lukewarm on on sort of allowing building in the Nether because that's always kind of been a vast and no no, and right. and I was yeah. kind of like talked into it. And boy, am I glad I was because this is wonderful. Yeah. No. Well, and it's and especially from its from the idea of the pigman, right? Like it's it's not that it's people building here; it's that pigmen right. are building here, right? Exactly. Well, this is this is wonderful, Chef. Thank you so much for uh, for for showing us around, and uh, uh, this is great. I can't wait to see more. Well, thank you. All right, uh, Joel and I will hop over to the next kingdom. See you there.